Let's look at question 39. Farm 3B has a cricket team and a football team. There are six boys on both teams. Six on both teams. That's suggesting that you have the two teams overlap. You have an intersection. Cricket and football. You have a when universal set which is 6b you have six boys on both teams so six on both and four who are on neither team so four is outside of cricket and football there are 11 boys in each team all right there, that means there are 11 boys in the cricket team on the cricket team six of them are also on the football team but they are on the cricket team so six already plus some more to make the 11 six seven eight nine ten eleven six and five is eleven so there are five of them on the cricket team but not on the football team it says in each so the same applies here six of them are on the football team yes they are on the cricket team too but we're not concerned about that the fact is they are on the football team six of them plus five more who are not on the football team also so here it's 11 that are on the football team how many are boys are there in farm 3b right let's see five plus five ten plus six sixteen plus four twenty so it's suggesting that the answer for question 39 is B. So question 39, B, right? Question 39, answer is B. Let's move on to question 40. Question item 40 to 42 refer to the graph below, all right? Question 40 says the coordinates of the point A are point A. You can see it's above 1 and beside 3. So X is 1, Y is 3. So that suggests the coordinates would be 1, 3. So question 40 seems like D. So question 40, D. about question 41 the gradient of a b is the gradient of a b well remember that if you're moving from left to right you're climbing the line and you're moving up it has a positive gradient if it's moving down you have a negative gradient so there's a negative gradient here right now it's the gradient of AB that they want. You're looking at a rise over run. So first of all, it's negative gradient. But what about the number? Rise over run. How much between A and B, how much did it rise? From 0 to 3 is 3. So you have 3 over the run from 1 to 3. It runs from 1 to 3, so it runs one two units two so it's negative three over two or negative one and a half so that is suggesting negative three over two is a what that suggests is that the answer here is a for question 41 what about question 42 now question 42 the equation of the line cb is CB. All right. You know that here x is 1, y is 0. When x is 2, y is 0. When x is 3, y is 0. So y is always 0. 
once you have a horizontal line like this it's in the form y equals something so here y is zero suggesting that the answer for question 42 is a let's check this question 41 a question question 41 no question 40 i mean d question 41 a question 42 a right so they are correct all right now we want to look at question 43 see what 43 says the pie chart not drawn to scale represents the masses of ingredients in a cake the total mass is 288 grams what is the combined mass in grams of fat and sugar fat and sugar all right combined mass in grams these are in degrees 175 20 when you add them you get 100 plus 75 175 plus 20 is what 195 so the angle here is 195 degrees what's the angle remaining for fat and sugar that's going to be 360 minus this all right 360 minus 195 shortcut method 5 minus 0 can't borrow one from this. You leave 5. You have 5 here. It's 2, 1, 15, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This is 6. And 2 minus 1 is 1. You have 165 degrees remaining. So the fraction of the circle is 165 over 360. And to get the mass you multiply by 288 now let me see something it's quite a bit of calculation that would be involved here let me see something what is half of 360 half of 360 is 180 this is a little less than 180 so you should have a little less than half of the 288 less than half of 288 half of 288 is 144 so it should be less than 144 so it's definitely not 165 nor 195 those are more it should be less than 164 165 is just a little less than 180 so 132 is just a little less than one um than 144 that less b is a little less than half of the the mass here 93 seem to be way out too small it seems as if the answer is b right but anyway it, we're not in exam so we can just complete the calculation here we have a bit of time what is 5 into 165 5 into 16 goes uh, 5 3 3 remain, remain 1 1 into 50, 5 into 15 3 this is 33 over 5 into 36 goes 7 and 1 5 into 10 2 so it's 72 over 288 and you could say 22, 1, 28, 4, 28, 4. Half of 72 is what? 22, 7. Goes 3 times 1, 1. 22, 12, 6. 33 over 36. Three. This would be 11 over 3 into 3, 1, 3 into 6, 2. 11 over 12 by 1, 44. So you can see it would be a little less than a little less than half. 12 into 12, 1, 12 into 1, 44, 12. 11 by 12 is what? 11, 
12, 11, 2, 22, bring down the 2, carry 2, 11, 1, 11, and 1, 12. Right? 11, 2 is 22, 2, 11, 1, 11, 12, 13, 13, I mean, 1, 32. Right? We took the time to just complete the calculation, just to show the principle behind it, but you would have been able to identify the well I was able to identify what the answer would have been from earlier right now this is what what question was this again this was for the tree and the answer for for the tree here is B so it's 132 which is B all right what about 144 Let's look at question 144. Um, question 44, I mean. The product of 4 times R and 3 times S is. Alright, 4 times R will be 4R product multiply 3 times s is 3s 4 trees 12 is supposed to have a 4 it seems to be b r times s is rs so question 44 seems like it's going to be b right question 44 is b all right we continue with question 45 a bit later so let's break from this for now